Next comes the release itself. The Salesforce team has done their part by committing their changes against user stories, testing them, resolving any conflicts, and finally deploying those changes up to integration. In this example, my company has determined that this is where the handoff takes place from the team members to the release manager. The release manager can now open up the pipeline manager and orchestrate the release all the way to production. So what we're seeing here right now is another way to visualize all those orgs in this pipeline. And I have arrows with numbers indicating whether there are user stories that have been completed and approved that are waiting to be deployed upstream. And so here, I can see that there's a total of seven user stories now between myself and my peers that we pushed up to integration. And so presumably the release manager would click in here and see all seven of these user stories, including user story zero, which is the one that we just deployed up to integration together. And now the release manager has the ability to deploy all of the user stories, or if they'd like to cherry pick some of them, they're free to deselect some of these user stories. And then they can select promote and deploy, and the deployment will take place from integration up to UAT. Now the deployment status has been updated to completed successfully. And now all those changes would be sitting in UAT. You can do the same exact thing one more level from UAT up to production. But it's important to note too that Capato has continuous integration and delivery built right in. So if you'd like some of these deployments to be automated on your team's behalf, that's something that can be easily configured. Now the last piece of this puzzle that I wanna walk us through is this idea of keeping all of our orgs in sync. And so for example, if I'm pushing work from dev one up into integration that moves all the way to production, these other organizations, dev three, dev two, dev four, and so on, they need to know about it. And they need to incorporate those changes that I pushed upstream back into their organizations. So that they're always developing on the latest code and configuration. And so that's where these back arrows come into play. We're going to be logging which user stories these sister organizations are behind on so that the developers can see, okay, well, it looks like I'm 19 user stories behind. And if I click on this backwards arrow, I'm going to get a screen presenting me with all 19 of those user stories. And in just the click of a button, I can quickly and easily synchronize my org to be up to date with the latest changes.